the things I struggled with as a young girl was inferiority complex. It was the fact that I wasn't proud of who or what I looked like. I wasn't proud of my body. I wasn't proud of um I wasn't proud of myself. I didn't like myself. I always wished I would be like some certain kid out there. I always wished my family wasn't my family. I didn't have a good sense of um, identity about myself. I didn't think I was special, so I thought I needed someone to make me special. I don't think I didn't think I was beautiful, so I thought I needed someone to tell me I was beautiful. I didn't think I was, you know, important to anybody. I was confused. I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted to be. I didn't even know the career I wanted to pursue. The reason I really didn't believe in myself or I didn't love myself was not because I wasn't perfect. I probably wasn't in the right environment that, you know, helped me to realize how beautiful I was then. But I noticed it crippled my self-esteem. It made me wish that I was like other girls. It made me wish I was in a certain way. I discovered that the way I saw myself reflected on everything around me. I was not productive. I was confused. I felt I was at war with everybody. I felt like I needed to do something extra to be loved by people. And I struggled with that for a long time until it got to some point I I had to start working on it. And the thing is, you don't even know you have rejection. You don't even know that you lack self-admiration and self-love. And the worst of it all is you don't even know you're limited by these things. And before you know it, you start dying on the inside and start shrinking and start losing value and start you know going into yourself and just in your shell at the end of the day i discovered it was not them it was me i had to start loving myself and it helped people to love me i mean how do you expect someone to love you when you don't even love yourself how do you expect people to appreciate you when you don't even appreciate yourself i mean i had to go through certain moments of challenges and trials and i didn't even feel like it was fair on me but this fire I went through has made me a better person and funny enough I don't even look like I went through that fire because everybody sees the pretty face and the good person and everything but and beyond this it took me going through the fire to become this woman and I appreciate every moment I went through I mean I had to go through certain things that made me feel like I was being punished by God but right now I I appreciate them better and understand better because I am in a different light at the moment. And guess what? It's for a purpose. Everything happening right now is for a purpose. It's for where I'm going to. And if I don't go through these challenges right now, I would not be able to sustain the thing when it comes. So I take everything in like it all belongs to me, like it's something I'm supposed to go through. And I become better at the end of the day. So how do you handle challenges? How do you handle you know, the fire moment, how do you handle issues with yourself? What I'm saying is, you are the way you are because of where you're going to. Nobody has the right to make you feel less of yourself. Nobody has the right to make you feel like you're not beautiful. Do not wait for people to appreciate you. You need to appreciate yourself for who you are. I mean, you owe it to yourself. Every day you tell yourself you're beautiful, you are the best. I don't care anymore. At this point in my life, it's all about me and I try to give my life full expression. I try to to do things like it's my last day on earth. I try to live up to expectation, not people's expectation, my expectation. Because I don't want to follow what people expect of me. Because sometimes it could be so much, it could come with so much pressure that you don't even know you're trying to please people instead of God and yourself. You put so much pressure on yourself trying to please people and at the end of the day, you're lost. You're everything for everybody, but you're nothing for yourself. You're the best for people, but you're not the best for yourself. All that feeling of rejection and frustration left me the moment I discovered myself. Because I was on the process of self-discovery. I discovered my passion, my love for media and family and everything about it. I discovered that I have a purpose and I'm not a mistake. I'm not a side effect of marriage. I am actually God's plan. You know, he took his time and he discovered there was a problem and he brought about me. I discovered that because I'm here, the world is better. Because I'm here, my footsteps will be seen in the sense of time. I discovered my calling and it keeps me 
it it fuels me. It's one thing I wake up every day for. I can I can do anything for it. I mean, I love my parents more now. I love the fact that I was born here. I love my family. I love myself, and I want to be able to give to the world. I want to give the world the best version of myself. I want to give the world the best me. I want them to know that I was here. So hey, maybe you're still in that phase of thinking that you have to do so much to get admiration from people. No, you don't have to. You are beautiful the way you are. You're the best of your kind. It's inside. Look for it, it's inside. You don't need validation. Validate yourself. You don't need to be accepted by people. You accept yourself the way you are. Love your flaws like they are your best features. Love your flaws like they are everything you've got. Sometimes you set high bars and end up not reaching them. It doesn't mean you failed. Actually, you're way better than you were. The stretch made you way better than you were. We all want to be perfect. There's nothing like perfection. It's an illusion. It's an excuse to not show up every time. So we're like, no, I'm shy. No, I'm not confident. I'm not bold. So I can't do this. No, I don't think it's my kind of thing. Who says it's not your kind of thing? Who says you're not bold? Who says you're not beautiful? Who says you're not confident? You. It's all you. So how about you change it? How about you say I'm bold, I'm confident, I'm beautiful, I'm the best of my kind, I'm amazing, the world is better because I'm here, and I will give the world the best version of myself because they deserve it, and because you deserve it too.